So in this video today, I wanted to share a little bit of a story with you all today. And it's about how I got into the field of cybersecurity. And we're going to be going all the way back in, into when I was in high school. And I'm going to be uh, telling my story and my progression all the way up through where I am right now, graduating college in about a month and with, with a full-time job. So without any further ado, let's get right into it. So most of the way through high school, I thought that I wanted to be uh, going to school for engineering. I really enjoyed mathematics, and then when I started taking physics, I really enjoyed that as well. And that was kind of the direction that, that my school was pushing. Like if, you were, if you're talented in mathematics and physics, they kind of pushed you towards that direction, presented you the good uh, universities and scholarships for, for that field. And so I kind of went on that path for my first um, two or three years of high school. And then I was very fortunate that my, that my school had a computer science class. And I took this computer science class, so we actually learned Java. So this AP computer science course that I took in high school was based on Java, and it gave me an awesome foundation for all of my years of programming to come. Uh, we learned all of the basics of object-oriented programming, and then by the end of the, of the year, we actually uh, each made our own game, which was actually a breakout game. So it was just an amazing experience. And after that, I really um, decided that I wanted to stay in the engineering college. I had already been admitted to Penn State uh, for mechanical engineering, but I, so I could stay in the engineering college, but I wanted to transfer to computer science. So this is before I even started. And um, coming off of this programming experience in high school, um, I was so interested in it. And at the, at the time I was uh, playing around with some different video games, trying to make some bots for them. And all around, I was just really uh, taking off in this field and kind of making my own projects and just really having fun with it. And I think that's the that's one of the aspects that you're looking for, for something that you would like to do for the rest of your life. Um, something that you really just doesn't feel like work, doesn't feel like schoolwork or uh, projects. And you kind of create your own projects and just go with it. In addition to this, I had also started to dabble in Python on the side. Um, Honestly, there was no real direction for this. I was just, I, it sounded very cool. And once I realized um, how quickly I could write scripts compared, when I was compared to Java, um, then I started to more shift my direction to that. So at this point, I had my first semester at Penn State and I was majoring in computer science, like I said before. And I was really going through all of the uh, weed out courses for computer science. and. Surprisingly, there aren't that many uh, computer science courses in the first year. You take about one or two, and then the rest are just math and, and other science weed-out courses. And uh, it was sometime about the first semester where I started making friends who were in uh, the Information Sciences and Technology co uh, College. And I started to talk to them, and some of them were telling me how they were cybersecurity majors. And I had had a little bit of exposure you know, to cybersecurity through YouTube and some online courses that I was interested in. And I felt um, that it would be a great opportunity to really uh, just, just to try the field out. So I entered in an introductory course for it. And this actually fulfilled one of my, ma uh, one of my electives for computer science. So it kind of uh, didn't put me out of uh, my way in my degree progress or anything like that. And it was very funny because it, it really happened quickly. But by the end of that semester, I was pretty much sold on um, cybersecurity and I changed my major at the end of that semester. So in my sophomore year, I was getting really good at Python and then I d decided to start messing around with Linux. So I, <laughs> at this point I dual booted um, my laptop and I was trying to do a lot of the work on that. Uh, I was trying to become really familiar with the terminal and then I actually got pretty good at bash scripting at this point. So um, this was about sophomore year when I started to um, really get into that aspect of things. So after my freshman year is when I really started to dive more into the field and actually um, start to, where, where I think I really started to learn things that were pretty um, cybersecurity job specific. And at this point I started jo joining some clubs and one of the main clubs I was in was um, a student run organization at my, in my college called the Security and Risk Analysis Club. And this was a totally awesome experience. We got a lot of experience with Kali Linux uh, bash scripting, Metasploit, we did a lot of CTFs, and for overall we just had a great time and it was just awesome to network with these different people at my school and a lot of them are still my friends to this day. And one of the best parts out of this that I didn't realize at the time was um, after the summer a lot of the seniors would come back and the juniors and they would be talking about their um, internship experiences 
And this really motivated me to get an internship. So after a couple meetings in, the, in early fall, I decided that I wanted to get an internship for that summer. And I decided that um, with all the various options out there, I decided to go for a SOC position. Um, and then I went through a lot of interviews and I got a couple job offers. And ultimately I accepted a job offer at a cyber fusion center and I was working as a SOC analyst there. This was a great experience and I really, this is one of the best experiences for me because this is where I started to become super interested in all the different aspects in security. And one thing that I noticed while I was working at this cyber fusion center is a lot of the people uh, that I was working with were going, or, or they had or were, they were going for the Security Plus certification. So I took this upon myself and that summer on the side, uh, I would finish my work for the day and then I would go back and study for the Security Plus. And by the end of that summer, I got the Security Plus. So um, moving forward to my junior year, I came back to school with this internship experience and having the Security Plus, and I was really ready for the next career fair. And at Penn State, and I know most schools, the career fair is uh, pretty early fall, just because of the complexity with uh, hiring all these different interns uh, on the company side. So having the experience and the certification at this point, I was really confident. Um, so I was able to walk around the career fair, discuss um, some great topics with a lot of the recruiters, and ultimately, I found my current position. And so they were offering a co-op. So I know I had, if the, for the people who follow my channel, um, I mentioned this co-op a lot um, because I'm actually still working there. And I've been there for um, a year and three months now. And it has been just one of the greatest experiences for me in my development. So basically, I took off um, six months from school in my junior year. And I, so I continued with my classes online, just not a full course load. And then I worked full time for this company in Philadelphia. And so that was a great experience. And right away, um, I realized that a lot of people at that job were going for the CYSA plus. So that was my next goal in my certification path. And I studied for that. And then I got that in May of that year. And my co-op ended in August of that year. So at that point, it was time for me to transition back into school just to get my final year of school out of the way. And in August of that year, when I finished my co-op, they offered me um, to work part time for them while I was finishing up school and then to continue uh, starting full time upon my graduation. So like I said before, this co-op was an awesome opportunity for me, especially because of the fact that I can uh, that I was able to go into my senior year and start off my senior year knowing that I had a job at an awesome company and just something to look forward to. So this brings me to where I'm at right now. Um, I've continued with this job and my school and I've been on a lot of engineering projects, had some great experiences, and now I'm actually moving towards more of a red team operator role on our purple team assessments. And that has been an awesome experience for me. And I really think that, so, so circling back, I think that all the different steps along my way, so this has been about five years of progression. Um, I wouldn't want to rush any of these steps. I think that they all, and I think you've noticed this trend in this video probably by now, that I, that I really just emphasized the foundation that was built at each step. And you're, you're never done learning, you're always continuing to learn. And so at each step, I build a, a more solid foundation, more solid foundation, and now is the point where I am starting to specialize a little bit more. I'm starting to um, really hone in on, my, on the area that I'm most interested in. So if, if there's anything you can take from this video, I would say just really get, the, get those foundational certifications, get that, um, get that degree, or just do, do, your own, um, do your own learning and really just establish the foundation so that you can present this and then decide where you wanna go. So this is by no means a um, direct roadmap that you have to follow. I would think I was really fortunate to at least go into college generally knowing what I wanted to do. And then I was very fortunate to figure out early in college um, that I wanted to go into cybersecurity. So I didn't, I didn't lose any credits at all because everything from computer science went right back into uh, the cybersecurity degree. And then I think um, with the internship timing, if you are a student and you're watching this, I think it would be totally awesome 
to graduate with two internships like I did, but having one would really just set you apart as well. So this is by no means a roadmap that you have to follow step for step. I just wanted to present my experience because I think it's a lot easier for me just to tell you um, what I experienced, my timeline, than to say, uh, for example, first year you need to get your Security Plus, second year you need to get your CYSA, because no, I mean nothing works like that in the real world. So I think that me uh, telling my experience hopefully helps you out a little bit uh, in your progression and just setting some expectations. Because I think that's my main goal in this video for um, my audience, just to help set some realistic expectations or maybe measure where they're at right now in line um, with the the progression that they that they want in the future. So if you like this video, please consider subscribing, give it a like and a share, and stay tuned for some more because I'm going to be putting out some more videos uh, in the very near future.